it's Leilani and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today is the start of the Makeup Tutorials Chronicles. I don't even know what Chronicles is, but it's the Makeup Tutorial Chronicles, okay? <laughs> Starting now, I'm so excited! So basically, rather than just giving you guys like shorthanded, um, not as detailed tutorials on other social platforms, this is gonna be the platform where I give you guys all the products I'm using, every step, of the full face. It's not just going to be the eyeshadow. It's going to be my full face of makeup. So I hope you guys enjoy. Today I'm doing one of my favorite eyeshadow looks that a lot of you guys have asked for a tutorial for. So let's get started. First thing I'm going in with is my Goof Proof Brow Pencil. So what I like to do first is just make sure the brows are nice and clean and spoolied out. There's no product left over in them. And then I just simply underline my brow. Then I just sort of drag the brush upwards to spread the product. This pencil is very pigmented, so I make sure I do it light-handedly. Okay guys, so basically, um, this is my first try, first time using my Sony camera. This is the A7, A7 Mark III. If I'm saying that wrong, that's embarrassing. This is my first time using this camera, so don't mind if the quality is like kind of like, or the lighting is kind of off, I'm still learning how to use this. Um, I'm gonna end up getting some blockers so that no shadow is casted, and I'm also gonna try to invest in better lighting. So this is just trial and error from here on out, so it will only get better. Don't worry guys, don't worry. I will be improving every single video. I'm going in with Lime Crime's Bushy Brow Gel. I've only used this a few times, but so far, so good. I'm actually working with them in a partnership with Forever 21, and I did not know they sold Lime Crime at Forever 21 until recently, and I love Lime Crime's products. If you are a makeup OG, you knew that like, I feel like in 29, no, 20 like 17 or before, their Lime Crime lipsticks were trending, and I got my hands on quite a few of them. And then I take sort of like an eyeliner-y brow product. This is also Lime Crimes. And I just kind of add faux hairs all over my brows. This is what I mean by faux hairs. Like in the front, I just added those few hairs and it makes it look more realistic. I'm carving my brows with Frankie Rose Cosmetics Concealer and my Morphe M432 brush which is my favorite brush. Basically what I do is I just coat both sides to make sure it is as thin as possible. And then I take it and drag it down. Oh, 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 oh. I hit that note though, huh? Ah, I know you guys heard it. I know you heard it, I know you heard it, I know you heard it. No, because where did my P. Louise base go? There it is. Also, y'all, I promise I wash this. Probably not as much as I should because I only use it for my makeup, but it gets dirty every single time because of my foundation, obviously, so. Real cute. All right, guys, time for the eyeshadow. Of course, we have to prime the base, and I love my P. Louise base. This is in the shade Rumor 02. So if you don't know what this is, it's basically like an eyeshadow primer, which makes your eyeshadow stay all day long. Not only that, but the colors be more pigmented over it as well. So I just tap this all over the lids. And you don't really need a brush to blend it out. I just use my finger and tap it into my eyelid skin. I don't know why I said eyelid skin. Tap it into the lids. Leilani, what's wrong with you? Why do I always have to say some weird stuff? Okay guys, so we are basically going to be recreating this makeup look right here because a lot of y'all wanted to see how I did it. I actually did this one with a spoon and I'm thinking of getting a spoon right now, but should I? <laughs> no, let me just do it free-handed. But if you did want to use a spoon, you can just place the spoon right here and kind of make the outline around it. So we are going to want to start off with a black eyeshadow. I am using my Morphe 35D Desert Bloom palette. And the black that I am using is in the shade Midnight Bloom right down here. The brush we're going to kind of want to use for this is probably a eye sh um, an eyebrow brush. When I say eyebrow brush, I mean this type of brush right here. I'm going to dip it in my product and start to carve where you want the first cut crease to be. This is kind of the shape I'm going for. I just kind of like to hold my, my ring finger on my face to help guide where I want the pigment to go. 
Then I am taking a little smudge brush. This is what it looks like if you have one that kind of looks similar to it, that would work the best. So then I just take this and kind of blend that crease out, smoke it out a little bit. Just kind of diffuse the color a little bit. It doesn't have to look perfect at first. Now that I diffuse the color a little bit, I'm gonna add some more to bring back that defined black line. Now that we sort of have a base to start off with, I'm going to start blending some lighter brown eyeshadow above the dark shade. For this, I'm gonna take the same little smudge brush, clean it off a little bit, and I am going to take the shade Rock On, which is this kind of desert brown color. I'm gonna add just a little bit and blend that on the outside of this black line. Focusing it more in the center and kind of diffusing it towards the ends, if that makes any sense. Now I'm going to add a transition shade for the black and the light brown, which is a medium to dark brown in between there. I'm taking my Sigma E36 blending brush. I'm going to be using my shade, I mean my shade, my, my Morphe Ashley Strong palette um, in the shade I am thankful right here, this kind of dark brown. I'm just gonna keep messing with these colors until they are blended to the way that I like them, them to be and I will come back. Okay, so I went ahead and finished the cut crease for this eye at the, there's gonna be another thing right here. I'm so sorry, I'm so bad at explaining, but I finished this cut crease on this eye so that I can focus on how to show you guys, so I can focus on showing y'all how to do this one. Ah! I realized that the black kept fading, so I just took out a black eyeliner. This is Schwing, Schwing Black Eyeliner by The Balm. I'm just making sure there's not too much product on that wand and I'm just sort of going, starting in the middle and carving out that area where the black eyeshadow was. Only in this area though, don't go all the way out here. Now that I did that, I'm going back in with this pencil, not this pencil, this eyebrow brush and kind of elongating those tips and just blending it out. Okay, I'm kind of liking this. So my favorite, favorite brush to carve out cut creases is my Sigma Winged Eyeliner E06 brush. This is what it looks like. And you can get so precise when you carve your creases using this um, brush. It is my favorite. I'm going in with the P. Louise base and I'm just going to go right underneath where I place that eyeliner and just start to carve. It's kind of like you're just outlining what you just put on. Hey babe. Did you say hey babe? Yeah, I heard you. Wow. I can um, sense you. Okay, you. Yeah. yeah, look at you like my cut crease so far. Yeah, it looks good. Thank you. Which one's not as blended? Let's see, guys. Put them to the test. Which one's not as blended? This one. Yeah. Yeah. Now, moving on to the other part of the eye, I am taking my P. Louise number 7064 brush and I'm taking some of that P. Louise base and I'm just going to coat the rest of my eye with this base so that I can put the color on the lid that I want. The way I kind of tap this in is I place it and then I just get my pinky finger and tap it into the eye. Sprout, I am filming, sir. Okay, so I decided to grab my Morphe Artistry palette and I'm going in with, what shade should I do? Either this shade or this shade. I think I'm gonna do this shade and see how light that is and if it's too light, I'll just add more color. Yeah, I like this color. That is what it's looking like. Okay guys, this is how we're looking. I think it looks really, really good right now. But before I end up doing this little eyeliner part, I want to complete my foundation. To prime the face, we are using Too Faced Plump and Prime um, Plumping Primer, obviously. <laughs> so I'm just putting that all over. Usually if it was like a pore focused primer, I would only put it on my T-zone, but since it plumps your whole face, I would like to have my whole face primed. Then what I like to do to make sure that the foundation is as pigmented as possible is I like to take a stick foundation, as you guys know. I'm using Hello Happy Air Stick Foundation and I'm covering the blemishes before I put the actual foundation on my skin. Then I just take a beauty blender and blend in those few areas where I added the stick foundation. 
All right, now we're already looking more even. Now I'm gonna take my favorite foundation right now. This is NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Um, I take about five pumps of this because the pumps are pretty light and grab my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush and I just kind of glide this onto my face. The next thing I do is I take my, <laughs> why do I just forget the brand names even though I know them? but I just have to look at it. The Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand Stick. This is in the shade medium. And I just put a few dots kind of in like a C shape. I like to add the bronzer a little bit above the crease part of my cheekbone because I like to look more lifted. And I add a little bit on my forehead as well. Then, I take kind of like the stippling brush from Real Techniques. I need to clean the base of my brushes. I always clean the brushes, but I don't really focus on the base. Going in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, I add this pretty much in my T-zone. I used to only add like this much, but then one day I decided to kind of fill it in and it made my makeup look so much better. I let that sit for a little bit so that it can kind of hold its shape and pigment, and then I blend it in a little bit later. The way I like to blend the under eye concealer is I like to blend out the edges, I guess, like this part first. And then I like to drag it up. I do this every single time, like I don't know why I never blend it a different way. Drag it up, and then I start moving to the center, blending that in place. And then when it gets to like around my eye, I barely, barely tap it. I go like very gentle so I can hold its pigment. And I just go back in with my foundation beauty blender and make sure all the edges are blended. The key to getting like flawless makeup, I would say, is just how you blend all the time. How you blend, how you blend, how you blend. Then I go in with my baking powder. I'm using the one size um, translucent baking powder. I take, it's kind of hard to get the product out of this little, Thing. So I cover it with the lid and I just shake it and then I go in with my Real Techniques powder beauty blender and I just place it on every area where I put concealer and then I also like to add it right under where I place that bronzer just to give it a more clean slash perfecty perfecty look. And then we bake for like 30 to 40 seconds. All right, I dusted the bake off. I love to dust my bake off with the Sigma Spotlight Duster. Oh, I think this is meant to dust like powder off. But I just did that and I added a little more baking powder to this and kind of set the areas that I didn't bake to make sure my whole face is smooth and matte. Um, sometimes I'll go for a more dewy look and not set the rest of my face, but today I wanted to. Going back in with my Ashley Strong palette, I am taking... Hmm, I'm taking that angled brush again, adding some of the black shade, and I'm going just like I'm doing like an eyeliner. Kind of dragging that down, making an eyeliner shape, but I'm not gonna keep that. I'm gonna blend it out so it smokes outwards. Once I have that eyeliner shape on there, I'm going to take a shading brush. It already has brown on it from last time. <laughs> But I'm gonna add a little bit more brown and kind of blend it out. I'm gonna kind of like pull it. So as you can see, it's already kind of blending out. You just need to keep doing that until you are satisfied with the blend. Next, I'm going in with that I Am Brave shade, the amber shade. So we're using the same color palette we used for this cut crease for this. And I'm placing that on the very top, not the very top, above that brown color that we used last and just blending that as well. As you can see, that's already coming together super nice. And that is what we are looking for. So the other eye is finished. And this is what it's looking like. It looks really good. I didn't know it was gonna turn out this good because when I try to recreate, I feel like it always doesn't look as good as the picture, but I feel like it looks just like the picture in this one. I also added back some black eyeliner right here because this one was kind of lighter than this one. But I just put some duo glue on my lashes. I don't know the lash name of this one. I'm so, so sorry. I know y'all are gonna come for me in the comments, but it's okay. This is what they look like, so try to find a match. <laughs> 
But while I'm waiting for my lashes to get tacky, because once I add the glue, I like for that gray to turn dark gray before I place it on so that there's no like movement and no eyelash glue gets in my contacts. That's the worst thing ever. While I am waiting for my lashes to get tacky, I like to finish the rest or do as much as I can on the rest of my face. So I'm taking my Hoola bronzer and I'm bronzing. I've been through so much stages with contouring my nose to where it's kind of embarrassing when I look back on my Instagram pictures and I see like such a harsh contour. I'm like, girl, what were you doing? But, all right, contouring the nose, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury, not Charlotte Tilbury, what? Real Techniques Angled Shadow Brush. These angled shadow brushes that look like this are the best for contouring your nose because it can just drag right down. Taking that Baking Beauty Blender and just going in with whatever residue was left on it and swiping that on the sides of my bridges. Man's is opening a whole fruit snack in my makeup tutorial. <laughs> I'm using ColourPop's Forever Yours Pressed Blush Powder, so cute. And I'm placing this on the cheekies, of course, and then on the tip of my nose and some on the temples. I am adding some mascara really fast. This is the Superhero by It Cosmetics. I don't really care too much about mascara um, when I'm going to put lashes right over them. I like to hook the lash onto the tip of my lash line and just lay the rest on. I am taking two highlighters. One is Water Brat by Fenty Beauty and this one is Cookie by Benefit. Going in with Cookie by Benefit, I am going to highlight the underneath of my brow bone. Well, I'm gonna highlight my brow bone. Ooh, look at that highlight. I'm gonna bring back some of that color that the highlight hid. Now for the nose highlight, I always like to highlight the very tip of my nose, going down the sides a little bit. Then the bridge, of course. I like to take my Morphe M501 brush, add some highlighter right here. Not some, a lot. And then I like to go in with this little pinky highlighter by Fenty Beauty and add that on top as more of to add just some rosiness. I just love this highlighter so much. If you know me, you know I like to hide my bottom lashes, so I just grab some concealer and lightly put that over my bottom lashes to make sure they're completely hidden, because I, I like all the focus to be on my upper part of my eyes. Last, no, not last, we still have the lips, but to finish off the face, I'm adding some setting spray by, why do I always forget? I know this, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. One time I cried and my makeup stayed completely put. So we love her, we love her. Your girl is back. Hair is nice and blow dried and we're ready to do the lips. Okay, so for the lips, I like to line my lips with the NYX Professional Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Nutmeg. And I'm just gonna line my lips a little bit, tiny bit overline, tiny bit. So that is what the lining looks like. I barely, um, I don't even think I did overline it. No, I didn't, but I like to go high on these points right here just to make sure that those are like defined. I don't know what those are called. I'm saying those even though it's my lips, but okay, I'm taking Cam by Makeup by Mario and placing that all over the lips. And then I also like to take Kiana or just a red lipstick by Makeup by Mario and place that in the center. Okay, so the gloss I'm going to be using today is NARS. Um, Chelsea Girls Lip Gloss, and we're putting that all over the lips, of course. And that is the finished look. Okay, guys, that is the end of this tutorial. Bear with me. This is just my first one I've done, so the quality will improve, the lighting will improve, everything will improve, but just give me time, okay? Work in progress. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Tag me in your recreations on Instagram, please. My Instagram is Leilani Green. All my other socials are down below. Make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. More tutorials coming this whole entire year and forever, okay? Forever until I die. I'll be an old lady making makeup tutorials, okay? I love you guys so much, and I will see y'all in the next YouTube video. Make sure to subscribe, turn my bell on, and comment random things because... I love to read your guys' comments, even if it's so random, okay? Okay.
Don't be scared to put anything. I love y'all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next YouTube video. Bye!